Carbon fibers are minute hairs of almost pure carbon. They may be tiny, but they're three times stronger and four times lighter than steel. Weaving them together and bonding them with plastic resin, then molding this material into a bike frame, creates one lean, mean pedaling machine. This company builds custom-made carbon fiber bicycles for professional athletes and serious amateurs. The first step is to take detailed measurements, height, weight, and limb length, as well as shoulder width for handlebar spacing, inseam for the seat placement, and even shoe size for positioning the pedals relative to the front wheel. Computer software translates these data into a geometric diagram of a customized bike frame. A cutting machine slices out carbon fiber shapes that will become the frame components. The bicycle frame is made up of nine parts. They make each one with an aluminum mold and a latex balloon called a bladder. They wrap the bladder with a layer of carbon fiber. The fibers in the material all run in one direction, so to add strength, they apply several layers in a specific crisscross pattern. After coating the mold cavity with a release agent to prevent sticking, they place the wrapped bladder inside, then install an inflation cap. They place the mold in a specialized heat press, hook up pressurized gas, then insert a temperature and pressure monitor. The inflated bladder forces the carbon fiber to take the shape of the mold cavity. After about 20 minutes, they extract the molded part, then begin the refining process. First, they sand off any release agent residue. Then they machine the part to exact specifications for a precision fit with its connecting parts. Following the geometric diagram, they assemble the bicycle frame like a puzzle. Once they're sure everything fits together properly, they disassemble the pieces, then coat the connectors with super strong aerospace adhesive. They reassemble the parts, then cure the glue in an oven for about half an hour. The bicycle frame now goes onto an inspection table. A technician uses digital measuring equipment to ensure the alignment is perfect. The next step is to install test wheels and check that they rotate perfectly straight. Back to the frame. They remove any excess glue that oozed out when they slid the part together and give the frame an overall sanding. The surface must be perfectly smooth before they can paint it. They do all the painting by hand with spray guns. First, they coat the frame in a primer and sealer. Then they use a series of adhesive stencils to apply the paint colors one at a time. They spray on a coat of clear automotive lacquer. This protects the paint against UV light and chipping. Next, using this tap, they remove paint that dried inside the threads at the base of the frame, where the gear mechanisms screw on. They repeat this procedure at the head of the frame, where the handlebars attach. Now, it's just a matter of installing the specific components that the customer ordered. The carbon fiber frame delivers maximum strength and stiffness with minimal weight. It's the key to the bicycle's high-end performance.